Ann K. Ming, the ingredient detective, is here to talk with us about the benefits of mineral sunscreens and how to choose the right one for your daily skincare routine. Ann, so I use mineral sunscreens. You'll be proud of me. Great. <laughs> But how do we, you know, what, what is the benefit of using a mineral sunscreen? And how do we not have that, like, white? I've the had pasty some, look. Yeah, yeah the pasty like look. I like that. Yes. Um, so it's really important to find a great mineral and sunscreen. Chemical sunscreens, as you might know, um, they actually work by absorbing into your skin. Mm -hmm. And we have to reapply them every two hours because they're actually degrading with a reaction with the sun. Mm -hmm. And they're creating something called free radicals. Have you heard of free radicals before? I know that they are not a happy thing for skin. No, and it's, so those are linked with cancer. Okay. Um, so now you have free radicals floating around. Um, the other thing about chemical sunscreen is it's bioaccumulative. So it doesn't just wash off and then disintegrate. It mm -hmm. actually goes into our waterways and then oh. into our fish and even people who don't want to be exposed to it, even really great filters aren't uh -huh. getting rid of it and it's getting into our drinking water. Oh. So when you're looking for a mineral sunscreen, you want to look for something that has zinc oxide okay. and titanium oxide. I've seen those. Um, yeah. And they want it, you want those to be the only active ingredients. Okay. The next important thing is to look for something that or is an antioxidant within the sunscreen. So mineral sunscreen zinc oxide can create free radicals as well. So that's why it's important to also have this antioxidant. Mm -hmm. um, you wanna look for something that you can read all of the ingredients. Because the marketplace is what it is, mm -hmm. companies know that moms, women are looking for safe alternatives. Yeah. So there are mineral sunscreens mixed in with chemical sunscreens. And mineral sunscreens in the store often will also have chemical ingredients. So you have to be extremely oh, careful. So they're trying to give you a little bit of what you're looking for. Exactly. Because people are looking for those key words, but then they still give you the other stuff too. Yes. Okay. And yeah, when we were talking about the white and pasty. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really hard. Zinc oxide is great because it does really protect us from the sun. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to, yeah, it's going to sit on it the top of your skin. Yeah. They, more companies are going with um, a tinted version. So okay. there's a brand called Cabana. It starts with a K. Uh -huh. They have a white version as well as the colored version. Okay. When you put that on, it's not like makeup. It uh -huh. really does blend in and you don't look like Casper the Ghost. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm glad they created to... that. Yes. Yeah, so the minerals, so what I, something I heard about um, the chemical sunscreens is just that those ones have like, I mean, it's a chemical, it creates chemical reactions, whereas the minerals kind of like bounce the sun off of your skin instead and kind of create that protective barrier. Yes, so it does create a complete barrier between uh -huh. you and the sun. And that gets into another point about vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, um, people will have double incidences of having illnesses related to vitamin D deficiency than skin related issues from the sun. Okay. So it's important for us to still get some sun. I always recommend um, if you go out before 10 o'clock, don't worry about it. Okay. If you're out after 3 p.m., don't worry about it. If you're going to be out at the pool all day long, yeah. maybe wear a sun shirt. <laughs> okay. Because the amount of sunscreen you actually need is quite a bit. Uh -huh. For a baby, just on their arms and legs, they need a teaspoon each. For a, a grown man, it's two teaspoons for their back and their shoulders. Oh, that's an interesting measure. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. So I'd recommend just wear a sun shirt. Okay. It doesn't rinse off in the pool. Yeah. And then the last thing I want to ask is, um, and you may or may not know about know the, ex the explanation for this, but I've read... Um, about the dolphin safe, like the mineral the sunscreens safe. are, yeah. Yes, so the reef safe is also important to look for. Mm -hmm. Now, just being reef safe doesn't mean it's completely harmful chemical free, uh -huh. but it means that it's paraben free. Okay. And the parabens are the ones that are the endocrine disruptors. And this is a really interesting factoid. If you take a woman that's in a bikini and uh -huh. she covers herself with a you know, regular amount of conventional sunscreen, She's getting as much estrogen 
or as much of the hormones as she would if she was doing hormone replacement therapy during menopause. Really? Yes. That is something I have not heard before. So it's important to have not just be you that's taking care of the mineral sunscreen, but that we all are thinking about it because it's washing off down our drains yeah and into our water and we really just can't get rid of parabens yeah we got to protect each other too yes and the <laughs> dolphins. thanks so much for all that information you always give me a lot to think about and some new things to know and no i'm not afraid of products but i know <laughs> what to i know what to think about more every time that you come and share a little bit more great thank you so much for having me yeah thanks